Hi guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to our channel. So today I'm super excited to bring you guys this really, really neutral, easy look. So if you guys want to know how, how I achieved this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. And also, you guys know the drill. If you want to be entered in our monthly giveaway, then just go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, turn your post notifications on and then comment done down below. If you wanna know how I achieved this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So the first thing I'm doing is priming my lids and I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in the color light and I'm just applying a generous amount to my eyelid and this is just gonna help with discoloration and also give us a nice base. And I did set it with some translucent powder and for today's palette, I'm using the BHX Sylvia Ghani palette and I absolutely love this palette so first I went into the shimmery white shade and I just applied that onto my brow bone and then I went into the S Club transition color and I'm just buffing that into my crease and this look is pretty simple but it's still a statement look so it's still going to look like you took your time to create it which I love. So next I'm going to go into October and with this angled brush I'm just drawing a line of definition. And some of you guys have hooded eyes, you can also draw this line while your eyes open. Um, as you can see I'm going a little bit above my natural crease line. So when I do have my eye open, that line is still visible. And then I'm going in with this really 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 small tapered brush. And I'm going in with that first transition color and I'm just going in left and right motions directly over top of that line which is going to give us a nice gradient but it's also going to keep that definition there. So once that crease is nice and blended I picked up this really defined small angled brush. This is the brush that I use to carve my brows. So if you guys have a brush that you use to carve your brows, just go ahead and use that brush. But I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape in the color light and I'm just kind of patting an, an even layer over top of my lid. And you want to make sure that that layer is nice and even because if it's patchy, it's going to look patchy when you set it. Um, to set it, I just grabbed my Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder by Huda Beauty in the color Cupcake and this really small brush and I'm just lightly packing it all over the lid just to set that concealer just so that we don't get any creasing and that concealer does not move anywhere. And then I picked up the cool toned brown shade in the palette called Obsessed and I'm picking up this tapered brush and I'm just going and kind of buffing that onto the outer corner and that's just going to give us some dimension but it's still going to leave the look looking very soft. For lashes, I'm applying my favorite Shop Sophie Bell lashes in the style Bali. The link to check out those lashes will be in the description box down below. For my waterline, I went ahead and picked up this eyeliner by The Bomb. It's called Mr. Right Eyeliner in the color Seymour Love Letters. And then for the lower lash line, I'm just applying the same colors that we applied up top in the crease. So first went into that S Club shade and then I went into that dark brown eyeshadow. And then I went in with this smudger brush to merge the two together and make sure that everything's nice and blended. And then for mascara, I picked up my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and then I'm going back into that first shade that we applied on the brow bone and then I'm also applying some of my Mika Forever Starlet Powder number 13 which you guys know is my fave. And then for my brow, I just ran my spoolie through some bar soap and that's pretty much it guys. This is the finished look. Super easy, super achievable. So give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video to let us know that you like these types of videos. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.